This video is about Divi and WooCommerce integration. I'm going to show you how to build an e-commerce website using Divi and WooCommerce. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is to go to plugins and install a plugin called WooCommerce. So I'm going to click on add new, upload plugin. Now I've saved the plugin on my desktop in a folder called Divi Shop. If you'd like uh, this folder, I can share this folder with you. So I'll leave the notes in the, um, in the show notes. Okay, so I'm going to double click WooCommerce and then click install now. Right, so what you want to do is to go ahead and click activate. Right, so now that our plugin is activated, what we need to do is to install the WooCommerce pages. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to click on WooCommerce pages. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and add a product. So I'm going to go to products, add product. So I want to give it a name. I'll just call it mobile phone. Okay, so I'm going to scroll all the way down here, adjust the price. So the price, I'll say 200. And then I'm going to add a, an image. I'm going to upload the file. And the file is right here. Add to gallery. So I'm going to go ahead and set the featured image. So I've already got the image here. So I'm going to just click on it and then set as featured image. And then I'm going to go ahead and click update. So I'm going to view the product. And here we go. So we've got the product there. And then we can add the product description. So on the product description, I'm going to go back and just add some dummy text. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and copy my description text from Lorem 2. And then I'm going to paste it here. So I'm going to go ahead and click update. So I'm going to go ahead and add two more products and then show you how we integrate this onto the website. So now the next step is to show this shop. So I'm going to go to dashboard and I'm going to go to my navigation. So I'm going to go to appearance menus. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the shop to the menu and also the cart to the menu. So by doing that, we can easily access those pages when we need to. So if I go to visit site, you can see now I've got the cart and the shop right there. So I've just clicked on the shop straight away. You can see all my products are all integrated. So say, say for example, you want to have um, these products on a separate page that you've created. That's easy. All you have to do is, uh, go to the dashboard and then I'm going to add a new page. So I want to call this page main shop, use Divi builder. And then here I'm going to insert a column and then I'm going to insert the module. Now here's where it gets interesting. So straight away I can look for the shop module right there. So I can choose to have recent products, featured products, sale products, and so on. So at the moment, we don't have all these products set up. So I'm just going to use the, uh, the recent products. So let me save and exit and then have a look at this page and see what we have. So I'm going to click on update and view the page. There we go. So now we have our own custom main shop link. So we can have this shop to look however you want it. If you don't like the, um, the basic shop that comes along by default with WooCommerce. Right, so let me show you one more thing. So say, for example, you want to add your shop on the front page of your website. So again, you can do that easily. So I'm just going to go to the main page, click on edit. So I'm going to add a section on the website to display the shop. So I'm going to add a standard section with insert modules and then I want to insert the shop recent products and then I want to save and exit and then finally we're going to view the page so now if I scroll down you'll notice that we have our shop right there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate the title here and then just drag it onto this shop and then rename this to our shop and then I'm going to save and exit. So now I'm going to change the color of this section to separate it from the rest. So I'm going to go ahead and 
click on background color and this time we're going to make it really dark so maybe we could use black so i'm going to save and exit and then i'm going to come back in here and uh, make sure the text color is light save and exit update so now let's take a look at our front page and see how the shop looks okay so i'm going to scroll down here and there you go so you've got the shop i mean you can go ahead and change the colors of the text in there but basically this is how you add a shop onto your website nice and easy it's all integrated and everything is functional so let me just show you that i'm going to click on add to cart so you can see that it was successfully added to the cart i can go ahead here and um, view my cart and you can see everything is in there so when you proceed to check out you can go ahead and make um, the purchase but bear in mind that you need to set up your PayPal account or whatever payment method you want to use for your e-commerce store. So this is how you connect WooCommerce and Divi. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked the video. To support these videos, you can also buy the Divi theme using my link below or just by going to creativeastro.tv forward slash Divi. Thanks for watching.